morning on our way to Sarnia today with my sister driving. Say hi. We are going to do some thrifting. There's a value village and a goodwill there. They have never let me down, so maybe today they will, but we'll find out. I'm going to do the five item challenge. Try and find five items that I'm either going to sell in my booth or put up on eBay or Etsy. Um, do you think I can do it? Hope so. First stop, Value Village. stop. Um, it was all right. There were a couple of things there. I think I picked up two of my items. Um, so yeah, next stop will be Mission Thrift or Goodwill. Hopefully I have better luck there. All right, guys, we're at Thrift Store number two, Mission Thrift. <music> I just found the village people. Stop number three. item challenge that uh, we had today in Sarnia. Um, were we successful? Did I find five items? Um, let's uh, show you what I got. So let's start with this uh, beautiful piece of Namaji pottery. Uh, it was only a dollar fifty. Smaller than usual what I would get for uh, a flip, but this particular one will need a little cleaning. 
but the colors are beautiful. I love it. So I picked that up and I think I could probably get about 14 to 16 dollars for it. Um, definitely the colors are fashionable and uh, I think uh, will do quite well in my booth. Another booth item is this brass um, I'd say she's not a pixie. She looks more like a maid, um, a handmaid that would be in um, some rich person's home back in the day. Uh, check out the movie Gaslight. It reminds me of Angela Lansbury's character. And it's brass, and it's a little older, you can tell. Uh, it just has that patina to it. There is no maker mark that I can see. Newer brass quite often comes from India. Uh, the older stuff um, does not. Uh, yes, yeah, so I thought that would be a good flip. It was about six dollars, but I think I can get about twenty-five to thirty for this. Um, and another booth item. It's a little heavy to be shipping through the mail, so I think that would be a booth item. This fella is uh, a candlestick holder, um, candle holder. I'm not sure what people call it nowadays. Uh, he does have a little bit of a a top here it's taped on but you can see that's where the candle would go and it is also let me just flip them over here it is an Otagiri 1995 Inesco he was two dollars that's a goodwill uh, I thought he was really cute no cracks chips great color so he will uh, definitely be a booth item as well and Christmas stuff sells all year so I probably will put him in um, soon, like rather than later. Now these two are um, ceramic lights. They are both kind of cute, so I'm kind of grouping them together. Uh, you can see the light goes on the bottom. I have to grab a light from my collection for this elephant because they do not have one currently. Uh, they both kind of have a circus theme to them. I thought they were quite cute and I think I could probably get about uh, Fifteen dollars for each of them, maybe a little more for the elephant. Uh, I see a crack here, which I didn't see earlier. Uh, that happens sometimes. I would still probably put this in the booth as is, and maybe get about seven or eight dollars for them. And the light itself, I would have still bought it because the light itself can go for ten dollars. Um, so that one particular, in particular, uh, I can always try the light on the elephant. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, get, grab another light for this one. And I've got this uh, kind of enamel pin. I really liked the colors on it, so I grabbed that as well. It was $2. I think I can probably get about 10 for it. And it could be an Etsy item, but uh, probably put that in the booth as well, since my costume jewelry has been selling quite well uh, recently. So those are the items that I picked up for my five item challenge and I think I was successful. I think I can make the gas cost back and make a bit of a profit. And I wanted to do uh, an honorable mention for this uh, new old stock. Um, it is called the baby dressing bag. So what you do is you have it hanging up near the baby change table and you have all your oils and socks and booties and brushes and all the things you need. It also has a pin cushion uh, for any safety pins, which obviously we don't use anymore. I thought it was cool because it is uh, new old stock, never been removed. And it has that kind of 70s coloration uh, with the big flowers. So I thought that was pretty cool too. And that is definitely an Etsy item. I would put that one on Etsy for sure. So it'll probably show up there this month. So thank you for going on this journey with me. It was kind of fun hanging out with my sister and uh, picking up some interesting items from the Sarnia thrift stores. Hope to see you again.